Let's say I, Tom Peng, is going to run a foot massage service in Ho Chi Minh City. How am I going to make a lot of money doing that? Hey Tom, it's the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. First I want to say congratulations on your YouTube channel. Everybody needs to follow your YouTube channel. So what everyone needs to do is subscribe to Tom Pank. Great guy, great person. Tom, keep up the great work. One of these questions is from somebody that runs a foot massage service in uh, Ho Chi Minh City. And they're not doing so well. There's no customers. They're worried. They don't know what to do. So they send me a message and say, hey Tom, you know, I run a foot massage service and it's not going well. Uh, you know, what can I do? First of all, I would never run a food massage service in Ho Chi Minh City or anywhere else because frankly that business is just simply too small for me that I'm not interested in that business at all. You know, I can, I can make more money doing many other things. I don't need to be in that business. That is not a business that I care about. But for fun sakes, let's pretend that I'm going to run a food massage service in Ho Chi Minh City. How would I do that? And how do I guarantee that I would make money? This is what I would do. I would not do what everybody else is doing. I would not open a shop and just wait for people to come into my store because that's just fucking crazy, right? I would change the business model. I would change the business model and this is what I would do. So first of all, right? I don't want to make any money from the customers. So basically, uh, customers come in the store, uh, the, the service ladies provide the massage service the service ladies can keep all the money. I don't need the money from the customers, all right? They keep all the money. That's great for the service people. I'm sure they're happy with that. But I will charge a three million dong fee uh, for people to work in my store. So if you want to be a foot massage lady in my store, you have to pay me three million dong. And let's say I have 20 people like that working for me. That's 60 million dong in income that I collect every month, guaranteed. Okay, I don't need to worry about whether there are customers coming in or not. And this food massage service lady, they're only paying 100K a day to me. 3 million divided by 30 days, the only 100K a day. So that means that if they work hard, they keep all the money. They can increase their income three times, five times, even 10 times, depending on how hard they work, right? So if I, implement this business model one i have guaranteed income i'm only renting space i'm only renting the rooms and two the foot massage ladies they will provide the best service to the customers because they want those customers to come back right i don't need to worry about the service quality because they make the money the money goes to them they will guaranteed to provide the best service and three, the customers guaranteed to get, to get the best service. So this way, it's a win-win-win scenario. Everybody wins and it's a whole new business model and it's good for the business owner, it's good for the foot massage lady and it's great for the customers. And when I have a store like that with 20 foot massage lady, I open second store, I open third store, I open fourth store. That's how I would run a foot massage spa in Ho Chi Minh City and that's how I would make money that way by changing the business model of that business. Whatever business you're in, think about the business model and take some fucking action. Don't be a fucked